all today we are going to discuss regarding the climate what is climate climate in a narrow sense it is usually defined as the average weather it is nothing but it is a average weather or we can tell the mean and variability of relevant quantities over a period of time ranging from month to thousand year that is the climate what is a climate change it is any changes of climate over time whether due to natural variability or as a result of human activity the climate change commonly it happened due to the natural variability or a result of human activity that two point we need to underline one of the main reason is natural variability or human activity then uh, climate change how do you, how do we know first one is a global temperature rise the temperature has risen about 2 degree fahrenheit since the last 19th century and carbon dioxide emission also increased most of the warming occurred in the past 35 year with 60 of the 17th warmest year on record occurring since 2001 and 2060 is the warmest year recorded 2016 e- warmest year recorded okay this is the one of the main point due to climate changes the total global temperature is rise total global temperature is increased second point sea level is rise due to temperature commonly melting the ice melting is increase because of that sea level also increase eight inches of sea level is rise in compared to last time and another one is the warming oceans the ocean is increased warming it will affect the uh, the which are the creatures in the oceans their surviving rate also it will be affect so warming in the ocean is increase and another one shrinking ice sheet and another one is a glacial retreat it's nothing but retreating almost everywhere around the world including alps himalaya andes rockies alaska and africa and another one main point is the ocean acidification increasing the acidity of the ocean decrease the snow cover the snow is going to reduce it nowadays this all of the climate changes how it affect us how this climate change is affecting to us one of the most important things it affecting the clean air second point safe drinking water we are not getting the adequate safe drinking water commonly you know this two factors related to the our food production so the sufficient food and sec- secure shelter is also affecting due to this climate change in 2013 and 15 250000 additional death per year expected from the malnutrition malaria diarrhea and heat stress so climate changes will affect the in between 2013 to 50 increase the mortality rate approximately 250000 and the direct damage is uh, us dollar 2 to 4 billion per year by the 2030 and health infrastructure it is least able to cope without assistant proper and response so this is one of the diagram we can see in uh, 1818 there is a zero uh, up to uh, 1940 our temperature is not increase it is reduced only but this see after 1940 1950 onwards our global warming is increasing in 2020 it rise 1.5 total global average temperature is increase in 2020 compared to 1880 if on decades after the one decades we can see the rise the temperature 1.5 degrees celsius and uh, these are the some of the main uh, meeting uh, conducted uh, that developing and developed countries 
to reduce the carbon dioxide emissions and increase the uh, our uh, increasing our forestation and all so main, uh, mainly the kyoto protocol 90 97 it focus on international treaty with extended 1992 united nations framework com, com, uh, conventions on climate change this committee is binding target on 37 industrious countries to reduce greenhouse gas emission that is the main point of kyoto protocol 1997 to reduce the greenhouse gas emission reduce the greenhouse gas emission it is nothing but reduce the carbon dioxide carbon monoxide that sulfur and all emission is reducing and increase the oxygen then another one uh, this is rio 20 uh, in 1992 the summit it is main objective is the renewed political commitment for sustainable development now we are going to discussing which are the sustainable development program included this climate change and the next one assessing the programs and implementation gap in meeting previous commitment and addressing new and emerging challenges some of the emerging challenges is taken we'll see this all things in the sustainable development goal so this goal is targeted in 2013 goal 3.3 end epidemics of aids tb malaria malaria is one of the main reason is the climate change because of this malaria commonly malaria will transmit through the mosquitoes so the nowadays this mosquito is increasing due to the climate changes that is some of the research studies show like that then another one neglected tropical disease and combat of hepatitis and another one of the main point for need to focus here water borne disease and communicable disease and 3.9 hazards of chemical and air water and soil pollution and contamination this need to reduce in 2013 which are the hazards chemical and air water and soil pollution and contamination next one sustainable development goal 6.1 it is a universal and equitable access safe and affordable drinking water for all in nowadays in india less than 40 percentage of the have not getting the adequate safe drinking water so uh, not only in india in the whole world also facing this same issues so this uh, sustainable development goal 6.41 is focus on to get safe drinking water and another point is 6.5 implement integrated water resource management integrated water resource management and another point is 6.6 protect and restore water related ecosystem like mountains forests wetlands rivers aquifers lakes etc to restore water related ecosystem restore then another one 7.1 assess the clean energy research clean energy research renewable energy energy efficiency advanced clean fossil fuel technology nowadays because of this we are using that uh, uh, vehicles and all uh, nowadays going to increase the um, electric vehicles and the solar also nowadays we are using more solar wind the solar the technology we are depending upon to reduce the less at uh, this fossil fuels then another one 13.1 strengthen and resilience and adaptive capacity to climate related hazards and natural disaster it trying to resilience or making the adaptive capacity to the climate related hazards and natural disaster Uh, if you are looking last 10 to 20 year our natural disaster is more in this compared to previous years so uh, this sustainable development goal focus in reduce the climate related hazards and natural disasters also and another one climate changes measure to national policies strategies and planning so every nation need, need, need to take at least one step forward then only we can prevent this climate changes issues so that's why national policies try the strategies planning everything is very important then another one is the goal 30.3 to improve education awareness regarding the human and institutional capacity on climate changes especially mitigation adaptation impact reduction and early warning to give the proper education and awareness 
പ്രോപ്പർ എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ആൻഡ് അവേർനെസ് ദെൻ ഹൗ ദിസ് ക്ലൈമറ്റ് ചേഞ്ചസ് ഈസ് അഫക്റ്റ് ടു അസ് ഇന്ത്യൻ ഇന്ത്യ ഇസ് ഓൾറെഡി എക്സ്പീരിയൻസിങ് വാമിംഗ് ക്ലൈമറ്റ് അൺയൂഷൽ ആൻഡ് അൺപ്രസൻറ്റഡ് സ്പെൽസ് ഓഫ് ഹോട്ട് വാദ് വെതർ ആർ എക്സ്പെക്റ്റഡ് അണ്ടർ ഫോർ ഡിഗ്രി വാമിംഗ് വെസ്റ്റ് കോസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് സൗത്ത് ഏൻ ഇന്ത്യ ആർ പ്രൊജക്റ്റഡ് ടു ഷിഫ്റ്റ് ദ ന്യൂ ഹൈ ടെമ്പറേച്ചർ ക്ലൈമറ്റ് റെജിംസ് ഇമ്പാക്ട് ഓൺ അഗ്രികൾച്ചേഴ്സ് വിത്ത് എ ബിൽറ്റ് അപ്പ് അർബൻ ഏരിയാസ് റാപ്പിഡ്ലി ബിക്കം എ ഹീറ്റ് ഐലൻഡ്സ് വി നീഡ് ടു അണ്ടർ ദിസ് പോയിൻ്റ് അർബൻ ഏരിയാസ് ബിക്കമിങ് എ ഹീറ്റ് ഐലൻഡ് അർബൻ ഏരിയ ബിക്കം ദി ഹീറ്റ് ഐലൻഡ്സ് സോ ദിസ് ഈസ് എ ഇമ്പാക്ട് ഓഫ് ദി ക്ലൈമറ്റ് ചേഞ്ചസ് ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ ഫോർ ഡിഗ്രി വാമിംഗ് ഈസ് ഇൻക്രീസിങ് ഫോർ ഡിഗ്രി ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഷുവർലി എഫക്ട് ദി അഗ്രികൾച്ചർ സെക്ടേഴ്സ് എസ്പെഷ്യലി വി ക്യാൻ സി സം ഓഫ് ദം പോയിൻറ്റ് വൺ ഇസ് റെയിൻഫാൾ പാറ്റേൺ ഇസ് ചേഞ്ച്ഡ് ടു ഡിഗ്രി സെൽഷ്യസ് റൈസ് ഇൻ ദി വേൾഡ് ആവറേജ് ടെമ്പറേച്ചർ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ട്രിഗറിങ് മോർ ഫ്രീക്വൻറ്റ് റോഡ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഫ്ലഡിങ് ഇസ് ലാർജ് പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ ഇഫ് യു ആർ ടേക്കിംഗ് ചെന്നൈ ലാസ്റ്റ് ത്രീ ടു ഫോർ ഇയർ കം എവറി ഇയർ അറ്റ്ലീസ്റ്റ് ടു ടു ത്രീ ടൈംസ് ഫ്ലഡിങ് ഇസ് കേരള ഓൾസോ വി ഹാവ് എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ഇൻ പ്രീവിയസ് ഇയേഴ്സ് ടു ടൈം കണ്ടിന്യൂസ്ലി ഫ്ലഡിങ് സോ ക്ലൈമറ്റ് ചേഞ്ചസ് ഇഫ് യു ഹാവ് റെയിൻ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബിൻ ഹെവി റെയിൻ ഓർ ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഹോട്ട് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബിൻ ഹെവി ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് എ വൺ ഓഫ് ദി മേജർ ഇഷ്യൂസ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് ക്ലൈമറ്റ് ചേഞ്ചസ് സോ വാട്ട് വിൽ ഹാപ്പൻ ബിഫോർ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ബോത്ത് ഓഫ് ദ ഹൗ വൺ ഈക്വലിബ്രിയം ബട്ട് നൗ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ടോട്ടലി ചേഞ്ച് ദ ക്ലൈമറ്റ് എസ്പെഷ്യലി ഇഫ് റെയിൻ ഈസ് ടു ഹെവി ദെൻ വൈസ് ഹവേഴ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഹോട്ട് ഓൾസോ ടു മച്ച് ഹെവി ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് എ വൺ തിങ് ഹാപ്പൻ ഇൻ നൗ ഡേറ്റ് ഇൻസ് കേരള നോട്ട് ഓൺലി കേരള ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ ഓൾസോ ദൻ അണർ വൺ സൗത്ത് ഇൻ സൗത്ത് ഇന്ത്യൻ ഫ്ലഡ് ഇൻ ടു തൗസൻഡ് ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ മോർ ദൻ ഫൈവ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് പീപ്പിൾസ് ഇസ് സ്കിൽഡ് ആൻഡ് എയ്റ്റി ലാക്ക് ഹൗ ഡിസ്പ്ലേസ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് എ വൺ ഓഫ് ദി ക്ലൈമറ്റ് ചേഞ്ചസ് ഇമ്പാക്ട് ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ ടു തൗസൻഡ് സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ ആസാം ഫ്ലഡ് ദിസ് ഓഫ് ദം ദെൻ ഡ്രോഡ്സ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഫാൾ ഇൻ ദി ക്രോപ്പ് പ്രൊഡക്ഷൻ ഡ്യൂ ടു ഡ്രോഡ് ഡ്രോഡ്സ് ദിസ് ക്രോപ്പ് പ്രൊഡക്ഷൻസ് വിൽ ബി റെഡ്യൂസ് ആൻഡ് ക്രോപ്പ് ഈൽഡ് ആർ എക്സ്പെക്റ്റഡ് ടു ഫാൾ സിഗ്നിഫിക്കൻ്റ്ലി because of extreme heat in 2014 we are waiting for the severe heat in the 2014 if it climate change is happening like this and in some part of india is failure of the monsoon result the water shortage and the result is below average crop yield this is particularly a true major drought prone regions such as southern and eastern india drought brought on a delayed and inadequate monsoon what is drought it explain it is delayed or inadequate monsoon if you are taking our kerala climate we have pakka that june first and that june first raining is but nowadays is totally changed nowadays our rain season will be begin in the <coughs> july end or august so this is one of the main things of the sorry main things of the Uh, climate changes and farmers suicide also nowadays is increased due to this climate change they are not getting any benefit and another one point main point is the ground water more than 60 percentage of indian agriculture is rain fed making the country is highly depend on the ground water what are happening this, this uh, reducing the rain nowadays we are depending upon more in the ground water so we are not getting adequate drinking water that is one of the main issues we are facing now and future also so falling the water tables or water table is not getting adequate before if we have the common well uh, will get the adequate water nowadays the everybody is depending upon the bore well so the water table is uh, not getting adequate water in especially in the first impervious layers we are depending nowadays in second and third impervious layers that is a one of the basic issues we are not getting adequate water at the surface level we are depending on the ground water so future surely this things will be affect to us we are not get adequate drinking water surely it will come in future especially in after 2040 then uh, this is a one of the uh, statistical rate 54 percentage of indian faces high to extremely high water stress 54 percentage it is not one or two 
and another one is a gla uh, glacier melt 2.5 degree of warming melting glaciers expected a threatened stability and reliability of the northern india primarily glaciers or fed rivers the indus and brahmaputra indus and brahmaputra sorry indus and brahmaputra to see increased flow in spring when the snows melt with the flows reducing subsequently in late springs and summer nowadays because of this melting the that flooding is happening one side and another one it is reducing the spring and summer this is a glacier melt one of the issues and surely it is affecting the agriculture and food security increasing the temperature and low rainfalls affecting the rice production in south india and wheat production in north india it is substantial negative effect on the wheat yield especially extreme high temperature in the north india so rice and wheat this basic production also affecting this climate changes what is a remedy we can do one is a crop diversification more efficient water use improved soil management practice together with the developing droughts regional cooperation on water issues will be needed then uh, some of them uh, government uh, offered some of the insurance for the uh, farmers uh, one of the main things is the uh, all risk comprehensive crop insurance schemes for the major crops introduced in 1985 under the seventh five year plan and another one is the national agricultural insurance scheme nowadays it's known as a rashtriya krishi bima this scheme will be provide some of the insurance for the farmers and how this climate changes will be affect our health it is increasing malnutrition health disorders and child standing and the poor likely to be affected most severely and malaria and other vector borne disease diarrhea disease also increase due to this climate changes and heat waves this is substantial rise in mortality and death and increase the injuries from the extreme weather events and uh, some of the one two point we are discuss, discussing in how this climate change affect in our kerala also uh, the rise in maximum and minimum temperature was also noticed notified in since last 49 year of kerala the day maximum increase 0.64 degree celsius and night minimum 0.23 increase mean annual surface air over the kerala 0.44 degree celsius how much it is increased in annually in temperature 0.44 degree celsius 0.44 degree celsius this is the last year we have experienced flood one of the main reason is impact of deforestation the forest loss in local community losses the system performed valuable but often under appreciated service like ensuring regular flow of clean water and protecting community from flood and drought and kerala is downward sloping topography all the rain water drains into the sea within 48 hours downpours this are the one of the issue of the uh deforestation and another one is the river all of them have most of the have experience whenever you are traveling through the that bharata pura we can come to know it is nowadays is completely dry the bharata pura also known as nila it is a lifeline combination district in tamil nadu palakkad thrissur malappuram district in kerala in the environmental environment <coughs> environmentalists have been raising concerns over the slow death of the river for quite some times so in future we can predict the death of the bardapura and singing of morwells on the river bed is likely exacerbate the problems then this is a some of the study the indian average temperature has a already increased 0.7 degree celsius in 1902 2018 this is a one of the new study and another one i will show you then himalayas effect 
this is a one of the study hindu kush himalaya have been experiencing in temperature rise in 1.3 degree compared to 1951 to 2000 it increased temperature in 1.3 degree and forest especially in urban and green spaces according to the mos report indian climate changing adaptation mitigation response is achievable greater emphasis on widening observational networks and sustainable monitoring research in regional area okay then another one is see this is one of the example of kerala in uh, this is a deccan chronicle report in 2020 february 17 the highest temperature recorded in palakkad district in india highest temperature so this all is the impact of the climate change so we can try to reduce this climate changes due to the reduce the deforestation and well plan of towns and reduce unnecessary use of the water and we can help to hold the not getting adequate water and will be most of them can concentrate in farming and all so this is only one strategy we can reduce the climate changes issues okay thank you have a nice day